Hey, what's up, guys? Super Miles Yo here for my 90th episode of Breath of the Wild Master Mode. Guys, today is the day. Or rather, tonight is the night. Just letting you know now, don't, don't, don't cry already, but this is our final episode of this playthrough. Oh boy. And and you know what? That 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 is something to be celebrated, okay? Yes, it is sad. It is bittersweet that we are ending this that has lasted us 5 years this this playthrough. There's been some there's been there's been a lot of gaps in between. There's been a lot of times I wasn't even sure if I was ever going to come back, but I did and we did everything, guys. We got all the Korok seeds. All of the side quests, all the shrine quests. We have just about 100% of this game. I say just about, we'll get to that in a second. We have done ostensibly everything there is to do in Breath of the Wild. I don't know if I used that word correctly, but I hope I did. I'll look it up after this. And, 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 and that is something to be celebrated, okay? Um, so... You know, don't shed any tears for me just yet. Uh, oh boy. Okay. So, what are we going to do in this episode? We are going to ultimately 100% complete it and defeat Ganon one last time. But that ain't going to take a whole episode. So, I need to just do some prep because I am out of arrows and I want to be as well prepared. So, we're just going to quickly visit a couple stables, make the rounds, you know, make this a real grand finale. But, guys, I'll talk a little bit more, you know, as, as we go about sort of my overarching thoughts for this Let's Play. But for now, we are going to christen this last episode of Breath of the Wild Master Mode with. Of course. My can of bubbly. This one is uh, lime, uh, Lacroix type stuff, but it's the brand is called Bubbly. It's not alcoholic. In case you're wondering, me. Actually, you know, I don't even know who's watching this at this point. Most of these get like five views, and then the last one I posted randomly got like 115 views or something it's like which is still not a lot but it's like why why that one of all things Lauren. all right so we need um we need you beetle hello beetle hey welco no i'm not gonna give you a stupid oh my god see this is why i always just i get sick of having these beetles in my inventory at all because if you have just one he will ask you every single time you talk to him at a stable, and when you're just trying to get get in and get out with all the stuff, it is very annoying. But we're just gonna keep going. He does not need my beetles. I've given him far too many. He's a greedy, greedy man. He's gluttonous. Don't let him deceive you. Anyways, um, guys, all right. Let me talk for a second about how I found this last dang location, because if you remember, in the end of my last episode, despite getting all the Korok seeds, we discovered we were still about an entire percentage point off from 100%. Each location, I think, is either 0 .8, 0 .08, or 0 .09 uh, towards completion, I think. So, you know, you do your little math real quick, it's about... I think I want to... No, I... Oh, you freaking... I accidentally gave him my beetle. It doesn't matter. That Okay, guys. I lied because if there were anything left to do in this game, it is upgrading all of the armor in the shop. But I'll be damned if you think I'm going to do that. Like, seriously, you don't even get anything for doing that. Like, at least we got a piece of gold shit. Okay, that's worth it. But... You really think I'm gonna upgrade my my freaking topaz earrings, which I haven't even worn, or like my like I upgraded the stuff that matters. Like I got all the set bonuses that I care about, like unburnable. I still have this random piece of armor here. But like, yeah, like I don't need to do that, man. I'm serious. I'm not gonna do that. 
I upgraded all the cool. Oh, I did upgrade the amber earrings. No, top. Oh, I did. look. Well, my point is just shattered. Well, see, there's still some that I haven't upgraded, and I don't plan on doing so because that would involve a lot of grinding that is not really worth it to me. Anyways, I digress. Got those. Uh, I'm just gonna visit a couple more. Um, quickie. Do I want quickie for the final boss? I'll think about that. Um, I might. I might not want quickie for the final boss. We'll see. That might be a little tough to to defeat Ganon on a very fast horse. So we'll have to reevaluate that. Anyways, what was I saying before? Yeah. So about eight or nine locations left for me to get. And um, it was kind of like the Korok thing when I had like eight or nine missing. Like the first couple were pretty easy. I just scanned over my... I think I went straight to the online map and just sort of checked. Most of them were like bridges. Like there was a... I think I already had that one, but there was a lot of bridges. And the thing about it is you can't really rely on your hero's path mode. Because if I were to glide, if I like glide over a bridge, technically it looks like I've been there, but I did not step on the bridge, and therefore I did not unlock it on the map. See, look right there. I could have like flown over it, and it wouldn't have counted. So there was that, and then for some reason I hadn't gone to um, wherever it is. Where's Pondo? Pondo's Lodge, which is the snow bowling mini game. I thought I did it. I definitely did on my other file, but not on this one. So there's a couple in the Hebrew region, a couple other ones that I hadn't got. Um, anyway, where am I going with this? It happened again. I got down to the last location. Because look, 99.91. That is like definitely, most the most definitely the last location to get. Oh, my Master Sword is not recharged yet. Well, how long is that going to be? Because we are going to fight Ganon with the Master Sword. We have to. Three minutes. We can wait three minutes. Anyways, um, what was I talking about? Yeah, so, man, I was getting, the weird thing is, like, why would I get depressed about this? It's literally the silliest thing in the world, but, like, I was legitimately starting to feel so frustrated and, and down that I could not find this last location after, like, so long of searching, and I think I, I boiled, I, 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 God, I realized that um, that it was because like the thought of having spent hours and hours on this goal of 100%ing it just to you know stop at, at one location left just because I could not find it anywhere. I was going insane. That that would do it for me, you know. Like that would be really frustrating. But here's the real kick in the teeth. It always happens like this, I don't know why. The way I finally did it was I found somebody who was nice enough to data mine this game and have a map that not only showed you all the locations, which was great, but this online map that I had, like, the locations were the only thing you couldn't, like, mark as completed. So the Korok seeds, you could, uh, you could click it and then mark it completed so it would disappear on the map so you knew which ones you checked. The locations, you could not do that. You just had to trust that you checked it. So that was frustrating. But I found somebody who made all, of, who, who simplified the map and only showed you the locations that are actually unlockable. Because most of them, most of them just appear. Like, I think the only one, uh, yeah, like any like well-known or any named thing is automatically gonna show up. Like you don't have to discover Thunder, Thunder Plateau or like, you know, any of these things, they'll automatically show up. Uh, and then the more obscure ones are just random stuff you have to discover. There's like several hundred. Anyways, they put all those on the map and they allowed you to click it and it would change color once you discovered it. That saved my life, man. I finally found the final location. And here's the real kicker. It's right here. I checked Hyrule Castle, I don't even know how many times, and I don't know how I missed it. There is Princess Zelda's room. I'm assuming it's right here, but it's somewhere around here. Princess, I, I had Princess Zelda's study, then I realized there's a separate location, Princess Zelda's room. Now how have I not been in there? I have no idea. And also, again, 
like I did last time, I checked the paper map because I was like, okay, am I just stupid? Like, how did I miss this? And Princess Zelda's room is not even written on the map. I was like, okay, not only is this, like, hidden, like, like the Korok seed was hidden. Like, it was still there, but it was underneath the text, and, like, who would ever see that? So it kind of defeated the purpose of it being there at all. But I swear to you, Princess Zelda's room was not there at all. And I don't know how that could happen with an officially licensed product. It's, I mean, like I said, I would be very surprised if anybody worth their salt, whoever 100% in this game, is probably smart enough to automatically go online and use an interactive map rather than a paper map. Which, yes, now that I think about it, is very inconvenient. And I don't I think I just had it in my mind immediately. Like like I said, I even I knew about the interactive map because I used it to find the taluses and the Hinoxes. But I was like, I, I remembered that all the Koroks were marked on this paper map that I had. And I, I guess I just had it in my mind that that's what I was going to do. Guys, I know I don't need this many arrows, but I'm just stalling because I really don't want to end this thing. But we have to, you know. It, it's time. It is. It is time. These ancient furnaces glow with a blue flame. They've been true for burning thousand, ten thousand years. Wow. That's in incredible, incredible technology. Maybe so. I'm just getting a glimpse of each region before we throw ourselves into the boss again. Oh, finally, today was like the first day this year that it's been like really cold. It is mid-November and it has been like consistently in the 60s and 70s and I'm getting sick and tired of it. So this morning it was 35 degrees. I was like, finally, this is the life. Uh, and I hope it stays that way because I was just ready to just piss all over the place anyways just kidding I would never do that that's that's that would either just be gross or it would be indecent exposure which is a crime which I do not want to commit and I don't plan on it wouldn't that be funny if I did I looked back on here on this video and like, well, times change. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Johnny? I don't know what I'm talking about. South Akala Stable. I've been getting into Egg Busters again lately. Egg Busters, man. Like, that was a good show. That was a, It's a YouTube series with this guy named Austin who started off just making a, a, a series about video. Oh, I guess it, do I not have any more beetles in my inventory? Oh, come on. Don't crap out on me. This is the last episode, Pro Controller. Come on. We have plenty of hard dishes. I don't think we're going to need stamina dishes, but yeah, I guess I ran out of beetles. Huh. Interesting. Um, but he started it as sort of a, a, a parody of not really. Well, it is kind of a parody of Mythbusters, Eggbusters. But he was doing glitches, which was people ask, like, why is it called Eggbusters? Like, the idea was Easter eggs instead of glitches, but he only did glitches, really, because he realized that glitches were more entertaining than random Easter eggs. So it would be like Mythbusters. He would, he would, you know, go after a specific glitch, see if he could recreate it, if it was real. A lot of them were basically confirmed already, but some of them were like pretty obscure, just random people saying it, and he was like, well, let's see if it's real. Sometimes it would be, so. And he's a really funny guy. He's got a really unique sense of humor that it's very hard to explain. He's just, he always sounds like very, very lackadaisical and drowsy and says random stuff, and that's what makes it funny. I, I ate that show up when I was little. <laughs> I say little. I mean, probably, honestly, I don't really remember. Most of these episodes were posted like eight or nine years ago, so I think I must have been watching it. I was like 12, 12 or 13. 
maybe even younger than that, but really, really that was the sweet spot there. Um, cause yeah, I think they were several years old even then, but I, I didn't, I haven't watched it in a long time and the dude's still like, it's honestly a relatively small channel to be honest, like, um, only got like 70,000 subscribers or something, but he's consistently getting several, you know, tens of thousands of views, if not hundreds of thousands on each episode. Good for him. But he's still posting videos. It's not really Eggbusters anymore. It's more so, um, well, he's got a bunch of different random series. I hope he goes back to Eggbusters at some point, but he's got a lot of older episodes that I've been watching. And of I don't know, I'm trying to tap into his sense of humor sometimes because I really appreciate that. All of this was just to say that. <laughs> as a whole tangent and I've it, it does seem like a fun thing I've considered doing a show like that I even tried to do it a couple times on Firebolt Gaming <laughs> oh god yeah that's how I know like it was a while ago that was 2016 2015 I would have been um, I would have been 11 or 12 then and uh, I was I, had, I was definitely watching him at that point because those videos were not so subtly um uh, rip off of his I mean it, it's not really I don't know I mean the concept is vague enough or broad enough where you could be like well no I'm just doing glitches too man but clearly the format was very similar I, I, I know that I was inspired by him what are you doing Garton where's Putty though is Putty gone forever I'm sure I'm sure Putty is gone forever but and uh yeah so now I'm going to um see which horse I want for the battle and I think I think I want how poetic would it be if we had I think we have to do Trumu I'm sorry like like Epona I was gonna say we could do Epona but no Trumu is my special special boy look at him he's so extravagant he's so pretty I'm sorry you can't see Trumu that must must be awfully hard to that like that. So guys, look. I mean, actually, what what am I thinking? I'm not going to use the master sword. That was the whole point of this. I'm going to use these, you know, mother wreckers. Because we're pulling out all the stops, right? Like this is it. We've collected these weapons for this purpose alone. I mean, we won't even get close to using them all. But seriously, yeah, we're going to use true move. Be poetic. This is like one of my first horses on this file, and he's so sweet. And he's so sweet, and he won't be like so fast that it'll ruin everything. But guys, all right, no more stalling. We are going to unlock Princess Zelda's room, and then I don't think it'll show 100%. So we're going to warp out of Hyrule Castle again, just so I can show you the 100% on the map, and then we'll go back and fight Ganon. All right. Yeah, this is where I really start to feel it, guys. I'm still kind of in denial that this is over. You know? That it's coming to an end. I'm really not like that. I'm not, like, torn up about it or anything. Because I've known it was coming and, like, I don't know. I know, I know that this does not mean that I'm done, like, doing stuff like this. It just means, like, for this specific game, this specific context, we're done, you know? So I don't know exactly where this is. Um, so I'm just going to take a little guess here. I know the memory was somewhere over here. Oh, we're going to get freaking shrecked right now. Princess Zelda's room. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I'm way off. Dang it. How did I do that? It's like way, it's like up there. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, it's over there. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry, guys. It's up here. I know it is. Please tell me this is it. Oh, thank god. Look at that. 
Princess Zelda's room. And yeah, it does not show us. So we're going to leave the area after we freaking rock this dude's shit. What are you doing in Zelda's room, you perv? Are you sniffing her panties or something? Get out of here. That would be pretty silly, honestly. I would get a big old kick out of that. Oh, you know what? Shoot. I feel like we should let Urbosa recharge, right? Yeah, it won't take that long. Because I wanted to use it on the, the, the Ganon. And this weapon is trash, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it on this guy. And you're dead. What, did you have an edge of duality or something? Where'd it go? Where did the weapon go? What? Oh, there it is. Why did he drop it? This isn't even that good. Yeah, I don't want that. Bang. There's shock arrows in that vase. I didn't know the pots could have anything in it. It's crazy. Oh, is this Zelda's diary? After meeting with the champions, I don't know if I want to read this. Yeah, whatever. You must despise me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then we will have sex. Oh, yeah, you did. Wait, did it say Link talked to him? Talked to her? I want to read that again so I can see. Hold on, no, 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 no. Previous. I don't know if Link, Link, did he say Link open up? Yep. You can't resist a delicious meal. Of course Link is a glutton. I could tell it was difficult for him to say, but he did. <gasps> you talked, Link, didn't you? What does Link's voice sound like? We will never know. Well, actually, we know what his voice sounds like. <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, silently burning burden. He's causing us to suffer up these pressing his thoughts and feelings. Poor boy. Look at you. Alright, blah, 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 blah. Who writes their... Who, who writes like that in their diary oh buddy you know you can leave now like I've gotten all the seeds what alright you're lost alright we're gonna get the heck out of here for a minute just so I can show you 100% because by golly we did it and that's all that matters What do we get? We get a 100.00% on the map. That's it. That's all. No fan. We don't even get a postcard that says, have a nice day, like in Super Mario Sunshine. We don't get to play as Luigi. It's kind of a rip. But you know what? You know what? You know what? Oh, I forgot the slash. Sorry. 100.00 slash 100%. Kind of bothers me that there's a point zero zero on the first hundred and not the second hundred, but you know what? <laughs> I don't care. Somebody should have format point colon point two f on that second hundred. What? I don't know. Anyways, now we can finally kick the shit out of Ganon, please. Uh, yeah, and then we'll be done with this game and this Let's Play. And I mean it this time. I know, I know you think I don't, but I do. Okay, let's equip the strongest mother freaking weapon we got. And we're going to go into this battle with my favorite outfit ever. I let Link have a couple, you know, a little bit to breathe because he'd been, had his face crammed inside this leaf. 
um, but we're going to put a mask back on him. But this one's much cooler and and some it's it's more breathable. It's much more breathable. Um, but we're still going to put on. Where the hell is it? Uh, am I just an idiot? Yep, here it is. This is what we're. This is us. This is the winning outfit right here, and we are going to put, or rather, eat. Um, do I have a big one? Now yeah, let's do that. Wait, was that? Yeah, that was a tack up. Let's freaking do this. Oh guys, the true grand finale. Here we go. Crack open that fat purple mug. Oh yes. Oh yeah, you tell him, Rivali. He's the most callous. There you go, buddy. Here it comes. Why didn't they do this before? Can you imagine being like a bird that got caught in that beam? Good lord. Could have messed some shit up right there. Yes, and there's four holes in Hyrule Castle that are perfectly leading to the Sanctum, even though we're technically underground right now. How did it not destroy the whole castle? And how is Link not being destroyed right now? Bum, bum. I wonder if there's a way to prevent that from happening. I don't think there is. I think you just, you know, you gotta have half the health done. But what if I don't want it? And there he is. Yeah, no, I don't like that, how, like, by by doing the main story, you automatically get a massive handicap on the boss. Anyways, well, that's one Daruk gone. Uh, why am I not switched to the... It automatically switches you to the Master Sword? That's interesting. Oh my god, this damage. This is what I was talking about, guys. And we are going to switch to Ancient Arrows and the strongest freaking bow we have. It's probably this. Oh my god, that damage. This is going to be a quicker battle than I thought, guys. We are, oh my god. Now, phase two is harder, but, I mean, mean, mean. Ancient arrows do not, yeah, they're not going to work. That's fine. Because he is going to recharge still, so. Got to keep that in mind. And I'm going to switch to this big fat lug right here. Oh, yes, dude. He is toast. Jesus Christ. Oh, we did not manage to do the stun locking thing, which is fine. Come on. You're so close, buddy. Go ahead and regenerate. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll have you before you know it. We'll have you for breakfast. Oh, he's doing that stupid sun crap. I hate that thing. Because it always gets you. It always gets you. Alright, well this is a little bit crap. This whole regenerating thing. Idiot. Yeah, that was a little, that was a little shady. That's okay though. I'm being really careless because I know dang well that we're going to do this. Oh, that, oh I didn't, wasn't even watching. Oops. Man, I was so much better in my speedrunning prime. Oh my god, I suck. I have mixed react, uh, mixed reactions. Oh my, what is happening? I have mixed uh, success with that, um, for some reason, the timing on that shield deflect is different than the guardians. Alright guys, come on. Ugh, come on. Yes. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna switch to. I might as well. Come on, let's let's finish him off. I'm done with this. And there we go. 
I was gonna try and do a no hit run, but uh, whatever. I mean, that this was the point to just use everything we had on him and see how quickly we could tear through him. If it wasn't for the recharging health, I mean, that would be a nosebleed. Even with the recharging health, though, he doesn't stand a chance. And when I'm really rusty and careless and tired, it's 1 a.m., 1.24. And there we go. Ganon. Oh, my God. Fighting this boss, though, it makes you so excited for the sequel. Or makes me so excited for the sequel. I don't know about you. Because we know the source of all this purple crap is under the castle, and this is just a puppet, guys. This colossus is just a manifestation of hatred and evil power. And the source still lies beneath the castle. Imagine what that is source is capable of. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Enough chatter. Come on, True Moo, let's let's rock this dude's shit. The Bovelight, there we go. Oh, so we still we have limited arrows, so that's interesting. Oh, but I'm not even using the Bovelight. Never mind. And the one He's the most guys. This is what they call a victory lap. It's not really challenging, but it's not supposed to be. I mean that sincerely, guys. I'm pretty sure I read or heard somewhere that the reason that this is not a challenging boss is is kind of an intentional thing. Because uh, you know, it's a certain style of boss. It's called like sort of it's called a victory lap or something along those lines where it's like it's not supposed to be a challenge. It's just supposed to be like a victory lap. Like you've already done the challenging stuff, and this is like just a uh, a more symbolic uh, a more symbolic battle, uh, just to cl cl just to tie everything together. Oh, shoot that up your ass! That that's gotta hurt. You get the burning britches. <laughs> I guess the only the only boss at this point that is not replayable in the game is Master Koga, right? Because all the other ones, final boss, obviously you can play that as many times as you want, and then after the DLC you can fight any of the bosses you want again, albeit with like it has to be I think the with the certain circumstances actually I don't know after you fight it again can you go back and fight it fight it again I don't really remember I always I just assumed that you could I guess no oh, no come back oh you little brat out of my way Greg Heffley. All right, look at the sky, look at the sky, look at the sky. I see it. Come on, Blood Moon. Don't do me wrong. You're ugly, aren't you? Do what you must, Link. And burst. Boom goes the dynamite. And there you have it. He vomited up a beautiful princess who hasn't aged a day in a hundred years. That would be really funny though if you just spat out a really old and crusty lady. She's like, Link, do you still love me? Ew. She's so sad. Well, there we go.
The victory lap has been lapped. Oh, he's reverted into his snake form. Don't try it. Come on, Zelda. Do it. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna skip this crap. Sorry. I've seen it before. I wanna see if I get my bonus cutscene. That's a dirty dress, girl. You wanna change that? Link is still immaculate after that, really. I was believed. You look naked, girl. Oh, never mind. Dang. Buzzkill. You're welcome. Oh, stop. You can just call me Link. Nope. No idea. Dang, I'd be a little I'd be a little freaked out if I if 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 I saw Link and he was looking like that, like, hey, uh, you wanna put that sword down and take that mask off, you know, and we can have a good time or are you gonna keep doing it? Oh guys, we did it. I bet if you want the secret cutscene, you have to not skip the credits. I don't know if I have that in me, though. We'll see. Alright, guys, let's talk while this is doing. Well, while this is doing. That was it, okay? That was the game. You guys know what's up. Hey, tomorrow, Fuji Bayashi. <laughs> What now? Now that we finished this, what are we gonna do? What? What? How are we gonna hold hold y'all over, tied you over? Well, too bad. Because I'm very likely just going to take a long hiatus from doing it, any episode on any game until Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Because let me tell you, when that game comes out, it we are going no holds barred. We are going to play the crud out of that game and record as much as I possibly can I've decided my goal would be to figure out some sort of streaming situation not necessarily so that people could watch it live just so that I could somehow easily upload it with a face cam maybe and archive it um, because as of right now there's just not a great way for me to have a face cam going which is so stupid because Elgato has face cam support in it just not when you're just recording an episode like I can't just have a face cam and like record the video and have the face cam at the same time saved to the video which I think is really silly but oh well um, I'll try and figure that out if not we'll just do it as we've been doing it but I might try and make something more out of it who knows but the point is we're going to record a lot of Tears of the Kingdom I don't know if it's going to be a full let's play like this, but I'm not going to rule it out because that sounds pretty fun, honestly. And just because I'm recording it doesn't mean that I have to limit myself to only playing it while I'm recording. You know what I mean? I might try and get through the main game recording all of it, but we will see. Um, let's see. Um, So don't fret, don't shed any tears, because although this this Let's Play is over, um, doesn't mean that you won't be seeing Super Miles EO again, playing some games. Um, you certainly will, you know. Unless my capture court card grows legs and runs away, we're going to be doing this, you know. Nothing has to change. Ba, 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 ba.
about that. And, and I can't really describe to you how much joy this Let's Play has brought me. I know it doesn't sound probably, it doesn't probably sound like it. But this was something that I've, that I looked forward to every week. It was like, you know, Friday, Saturday night rolled around and I was like, well, I get to record another episode this weekend. And sometimes I, it would be something I would do late at night, be hunting my Korok seeds. It was fun. Of course, I, I love this game, and so any opportunity to play it is, is welcome, but there's something special that I love about this, and, and the thought that this Let's Play has spanned so long. And I can look back at myself playing the same game, but I'm a completely different person every time. I think that that's pretty cool. And yes, now that it is over, it's a little sad, but... We can just hop to another game, you know what I'm saying? I've toyed with the idea of finishing my Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play because because I started that and I only got up to Peanut Park. But the thing is, if I if I did do that, I would I would just start from the beginning because I would have to get up to that point anyways. There'd be no reason to just to not record the first five again. But, um, but yeah, so if we do a Mario Let's Play ever, if that's, that's what it would be. But honestly, Tears of the Kingdom is my main thought at this point, and I might just take a break until then, but we shall see. Um, I'm still active on Super Miles Yo. That brings me a lot of joy, so my creative passion will be going towards that as it has been so it's not like you know there's just a big gap of myself online there's plenty to go around it's just not in this very location but that's okay don't even want to know how many hours I spent finding these seeds and uh, if you ask me was it worth it my legitimate answer is absolutely the fuck not but you know what we did it we did it once I can say that I did it, I can brag about it, and I will never do it again. And if the sequel has a similar collectible, you bet your ass I'm going to do it, but only once, only once will I do it. And they better make it more worth it this time. I'm serious, if there was a substantial reward for doing it, I would have done it years ago. I'm not even joking. Um... It just shows you the, the state that I've been deduced to. That's not the right word, is it? Reduced to? Deduced? No, I don't think deduced is the right word. The state that I've been reduced to where it is now worth it to spend countless hours finding seeds for a piece of gold poo. But it was also, again, just to extend this Let's Play as far as possible. But it is over now. At a clean 90 episodes... 90 freaking episodes if you had told little 13 year old miles back in 2017 hey you know what this you know how many episodes this let's play is going to be 90 and you know how old you are going to be when you finish it 18 that little 13 year old would have probably looked at you and said hey who are you and how did you find me, and what are you talking about? You're crazy. But then he would be like, whoa, that's crazy. Oh, these credits need to hurry up so I can see my bonus cutscene. But guys, I just want to thank you. And who, by you, I mean, I don't know. But, just want to thank you for being here. I love you. And, uh, this has been a blast. It really has. No matter how lackadaisical, no matter how jaded I sound, I swear to you, I would not have done 90 episodes if I didn't enjoy it. And that is the truth. So... So thank you for coming along. Wow, wow, wow. 
And it's amazing how new this game still feels. Even though it is five years old at this point. Five and a half, over five and a half years old. Here we go, here's our bonus cutscene. Yeah. There they are. Oh, poor king. You're such a bad father, but it's okay. I know you have a good heart. <coughs> Excuse me. Blue pillars, oh, so nice. Oh my god, the sequel, I cannot wait. Yes, 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 yes. And we're gonna skip this. Guys, all right. I think I think it's time. I think it's time to say our goodbyes and to close off this series. It has been magical, it's been fun, it's been long. All the good things in life. You've seen me in feast, you've seen me in famine. I guess you haven't really seen me at all. You've heard me in feast, and you've heard me in famine. You've heard me at my highs and my lows, my ups and my downs and my squeaky voice, my depressed voice, my cringy, stupid voice, my tired voice, everything. And now you have, <laughs> you know, 90 plus hours, probably not that much, many hours of content to watch and rewatch and re rewatch and all you want. And this is not the end of Firebolt the game or Super Miles Yo, whatever you want to call me. This is not the end. This is the end of this playthrough, right? But I can do whatever the heck I want. I'm a grown ass man. If I wanna if I wanna record anything else I can and you will see it. You'll hear it. You will have a choice. And you will be assuredly seeing me for Tears of the Kingdom. And boy howdy that's fun. So I leave you with this. I love you, whoever you are. Thank you for joining me. And uh, I'll see you wherever I see you, whenever I see you. Until then, peace out. <laughs>